Hi. So uh, in this presentation, we're going to present uh, the findings and what we've done so far for Milestone 2 for our project uh, Toxic Comments Classifier by Mohamed Hashish and I, Sharif Wiso. Uh, so these are the contents of our presentation. We first start with uh, giving a brief uh, description of the problem statement. Uh, and then we're going to discuss the original baseline model, uh, some plots and graphs that we got. And uh, then we'll discuss the proposed updates and the progress and uh, the what we've done so far. And finally, we will uh, talk about the next steps in the upcoming uh, final milestone and the member contribution. So for the problem statement, uh, so toxic comments uh, include a wide range of uh, harmful content, including uh, abusive language, insults, and offensive remarks that's meant to harass or threaten people. And uh, this issue um, is a widely spread one and has led to the discouragement of many people from um, openly sharing their ideas and opinions due to the concerns about uh, receiving hate or harmful co uh, comments, which in turn negatively impacts their mental and emotional health. Uh, and the main challenge in this uh, project is um, effectively classif classification and detection of toxic comments on social media and online platforms. Um, so for uh, the original model, and according to the feedback that we got after the first milestone, uh, we, search, we searched for a similar uh, baseline model to, to, to the one that we got uh, initially, uh, but with deep learning models. So um, the original baseline model includes uh, three deep learning models, first of which is a uh, LSTM uh, RNN model. Uh, this one is a sequential model with, um, was, uh, um, was embedding layer and has a bidirectional LSTM layer and the output layer utilizes a sigmoid activation function. Uh, the bidirectional LSTM layer uh, has a tanch activation function and 20% dropout. dropout. Uh, the second model is a similar one, but uh, was uh, uh, including low embedding techniques, uh, um, which uses optimiza optimization algorithms such as uh, stochastic gradient descent uh, to adjust word vectors in order to minimize the difference between the uh, predicted occurrence and the actual occurrences. Uh, and it tends to capture meaningful semantics, uh, semantic relationships between words. Uh, the final one is a uh, BERT uh, based classification model. However, uh, we couldn't run it because it needed a very high computational power. And uh, we will try to solve uh, this problem in the next milestone, uh, either by modifying the number of, of batches or by, uh, or even if it takes uh, so, so much longer time. For the plots and the graphs that we got after uh, running the, the model, the, the baseline model without modification, uh, this is a class distribution of, of the training set and the distribution of the, of the labels, the six labels uh, in the training and test set, as well as um, a distribution of the number of words per comment. And these are the F1 scores uh, that we got after running uh, the initial model. Um, and then we're going to talk about, uh, Hashish will talk about the proposed updates. So uh, now, as for the proposed updates that uh, we changed a little bit from the from the first milestone after changing the baseline model and choosing a deep uh, learning one based on feedback that we got from the, uh, the TA and the professor, we've decided to uh, fine tune the hyperparameters uh, in the uh, of the baseline models, uh, and also we've decided to implement new uh, deep learning models uh, or architectures, any. And then we we decided to apply different data pre-processing techniques and uh, use other data sets if. Uh, if possible, we also have other data sets. Uh, and then we'll collect the results and compare and choose the optimal uh, one out of all these architectures, different architectures. So as for the progress, what we've done so far, and how we've created a, uh, we've introduced in the code, uh, in source code, a, a new CNN model. Uh, and then we fine tuned its hyperparameters and we gathered uh, data, we, sorry, we gathered, the, we gathered the plots and the results. Uh, it had a convolutional 1D and max pooling of 1D layers. Uh, why 1D? Because it's text. Uh, we, uh, we should use the 1D. And we use different kernel sizes, 3x3, 5x5, 7x7. And uh, we, st we stick to the same pool size, which is 3x3. Three three. Uh, as for the parameters uh, of the first, uh, the initial CNN model before tuning it, it, was, it had the ReLU function as the activation function. And the loss function was binary cross entropy. The optimizer was the Adam optimizer with learning rate of 0.01. And we chose the uh, F1 score uh, as a metric uh, since all the other models uh, use the same metric. Uh, and also because yeah, the F1 score, uh, uh, after searching, uh, we found out no, it's the best metric uh, given the our problem statement. 
And uh, after implementing the CNN model, we've decided to fine tune the hyperparameters of the LSTM uh, model. Uh, we've uh, modified the epoch and the loss function, the learning rates, the dropout rates, the patients uh, before of the early stopping. And also we've changed the average of the metric. And we didn't change the F1 score. Instead, we, we changed the uh, the uh, the average. Uh, either yani, it was originally macro, we changed to micro. And we collected different accuracies and uh, plots to, uh, to do the comparison. And uh, the CNN model one is the first model, CNN model introduced in the uh, source code without uh, any uh, tuning. CNN model two and uh, should you go uh, next? We have uh, CNN model two and three and four. Uh, these are uh, the plots uh, provided, uh, with the output plots after, um, after uh, fine tuning the uh, originally introduced CNN model. And then uh, we, ra we ran the prediction of the CNN model without uh, hyper, uh, without uh, the side parameters. And these are the uh, the numbers of the results that we got. And as for the LSTM, the, the baseline model, we, uh, the first one is the, um, uh, we, yani we, we fine tuned the side parameters and with these are the plots of the fine tuning the uh, hyper parameters. Go next. And also we ran uh, the prediction. Uh, to see the results of the um, of the initial uh, baseline model of the LSTM, yani we ran the prediction to see a prediction results of the initial of the baseline model of the LSTM without uh, fine tuning its hyperparameters, and these are the results. Uh, so as for the next steps, in this milestone we introduced a new architecture which is CNN uh, model, and we fine tuned also its hyperparameters. We fine tuned the uh, baseline LSTM model. And we compare the results as well as the prediction results of the of the uh, initial models without uh, without uh, fine tuning its parameters. As for the fine milestone, we'll apply, we will try to apply, to apply different uh, data pre-processing techniques and use other uh, data sets that we've um, that we've mentioned in the uh, initial proposal. And then we'll collect the results and compare to choose the optimal solution. And then we'll compare the architecture in the final milestone. And finally, we'll finalize the project. And this is the member contribution. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you.